back in SQL. Uh, we'll come back to create a table. It's a little bit buggy, so we're just going to kind of knock out the lessons, and it won't really matter because we'll be they'll be ordered in the playlist. So if you want to watch create a table, we'll we'll do that. So we're in queries, queries, queries are how you kind of get data from the database that you're looking for, rather specific data. So we have select name comma imdb underscore rating from movies press run so there goes our movie ratings whoops next so let's continue with the select statement in the code editor type select distinct genre from movies movies This gives us all the genres that are unique. The distinct probably makes that, uh, so it does unique. Select distinct. Yep. Cool. A lot of this stuff uh, makes, they kind of find, follow good conventions, so you can kind of take an idea of where this is going. So select all from movies where the IMDB rating is greater than 8. Bam, so those are all the movies that are greater than eight in that database. Like is a special operator that can be used in a where clause in the code editor. All right, so we're gonna select from movies where the name is like SC underscore EN semicolon to end our query so we have seven and seven let's use the like query for a few other patterns in the text editor so in this case we're going to select all from movies where the oh, where the name parameter is like a and uh a parentheses, parent percentage sign. I don't know what the ampersand. No, I don't know what the name off the top of my head of that is. So what that's basically saying is where it starts with an A and goes down. It looks like, and then we're going to do another query. We're going to select all from movies. Where? Let's see if we don't need to capitalize this. We're in name like man so at some point it starts it hits man and then man ends and it goes on that's what I think that does remove the first query so you can see right here these all have man in it so before we do that though we need to remove the first query cool so we have one query one result, everything's got man in it. So between is another special operator that can be used in a where clause and in the text editor type. All right, so select all from movies where name between A and J. To see what that does. So, Corey didn't return any results. Select all for movies. For me. Uh, don't forget your semicolon. And there you go. So, it looks like it goes all the way to A to J. H I. There's no J, it looks like. All right, remove the previous query. And it's going to select um, movies where the year between 1990 and 2000. And you see, we don't have to put those in quotes because this is an integer. Very nice. So instead of remo removing every move, 
returning every movie between 1990 and 2000. Let's just return movies that are comedies. Okay, so this is kind of like if and else statements and how we use operators to get what we want. So we want to select for movies. So like, let's say it's our movie array for typing out code. We're, our where statement is kind of our if. So if the year parameter is between 1990 and between 2000 and the genre is equal to comedy return it so it's just like code it's a little bit different and there we go not bad at all so similar to and and or which can be used where clause so we want to Oh, and then the just like encoding so or so select from movies where genre is equal to comedy or the year is less than 1980 semicolon and that bam there we go so we get all the films that are comedies and or were made before 1980. So, oh, now now we're getting into how we want to see our data. So select all from movies database, or table rather, and then order it by IMBD underscore rating and descending. So from worst uh, what would we do? Select all from movies, order by Let's select. I don't know why this would be an issue now. From movies. But well, that's my first instinct is to. I am. Here. Oh, here it is. DB rating. Oh, there we go. So you see the IMDB rating is 9.08.8, .8, etc. Not too bad. So let's write a query that only returns three lowest rated movies. So in order, how we would do it, we would select from the movies where, oh, limit three, order by IMDB underscore rating. And we want ascending. So start at the bottom and limit three. So we all, apparently limit means we will only get three. And then Alvin and the Chipmunks. Anaconda is a 4.6. I don't know what they're talking about. It's a 10.0 movie, man. J-Lo was in it. Uh, but yeah, so that's, uh, that's how you apparently limit your results. So, um, limit is a clause that specifies the maximum number of rows. Cool. And it looks like we finished our next lesson queries. So... What can you take away from this? And I encourage everyone to do this. I, I will be doing the same. Make yourself a cheat sheet, not flashcards. Flashcards are kind of weird. But for me, I it's not that I don't understand concepts. A lot of times I just forget the words and uh, that are needed. So I will be providing these on my website at a later date. And uh, I can you can use mine or use your own, but things such as select, where, like, between, and, or, order by, limit, those are all things that need to be on there, maybe with an example or two. And they'll help you out in future SQL uses. So, anyhow, uh, comments, questions, concerns, WordPress topic ideas. I really appreciate the comments. And don't forget to like the videos. That's always really good, too. Um, that, that really helps, I, I hear, from forums and stuff to like the videos. So other people will see it if you liked it. And if you don't like it, I understand. Um, but I'm always trying to improve. I will see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. <laughs>